Still up in the streets on sign Still trying to get a million some peace of mind Free my dog Free all of my niggas I ain't seen in time Still up in the streets on sign Still trying to get a million some peace of mind Hey roommates, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So today is um, another video on how to bait a baby the African style, but this time around, it's going to be the acquire bomb way. Yes, the acquire bomb way. So yeah, um, we're basically just taking off the baby's clothes right now and getting her prepared to take a bath. After taking off the baby's clothes, the next thing we're going to give her ogre oil which is said to be really good for helping the tummy ache when a newborn is born, when their obliquary cord falls off. So apparently this is an indigenous way of treating babies, preventing them from having tummy ache after their obliquary cord falls off. So the tummy ache, we, we use grip water for now. Used to be treated using ogre oil. Then start to use hot water to burn her tummy, rather her abdomen rather. So at this point, her oblique cord has gotten off, that's falling down. So we're just trying to heal her abdomen and we're going to do that using hot water. So the water is going to actually be really hot, but not too hot for the baby's skin, but hotter than the one you used to bat them. And you just use it to um, put it on the baby's tummy and burn it a little and then start to put the water directly to the abdomen. Um, the Yoruba people do not do this. They have a different style, which is using like a hot lantern to burn the baby's clothes, using a stone, um, a hot lantern and an handkerchief to burn the baby's tummy. So the acquire bomb style is totally different. They use a wet, hot clothes and they just use it in burning and then start to pour hot water in the abdomen to heal it from the inside as well. Next, she's going to use the hot water on the baby's anus. This also helps them to use the toilet easily. So while she was using this on her baby, she would use the toilet two, three times a day. And I was scared at first, but then I complained to a pediatrician and they told me it was pretty normal. So using the hot water on your baby's anus helps them use the toilet easily. No constipation, nothing of sort. And next now, she's just massaging all of her body with the same hot water and hot towel. So notice that the acquire one way, you massage the body before you take the baby's bath and the yoga people usually do it after the baby has taken a bath. So you do this night to make up with me. Now she's done um, massaging the baby's body and she's just adding some cold water to the hot water that was used in massaging the baby's body. Now she's just pouring the water on her leg to see how hot it is, if it is good for the baby before going ahead to use the water to take a bath. You guys, do you notice how my baby was sleeping throughout? She literally was sleeping throughout because the hot water massage is very good for them. It makes them... It just like suits their body, makes them extremely comfortable and all of that good stuff. So when my mom used to um, massage my baby, she would do that after she has taken a bath the Yoruba way. And you just see her falling asleep almost immediately as long as she has eaten. So that's exactly the same thing that's going on here. She's literally sleeping through her when they were taking a bath. She literally did not blink until when they started to massage her body again with the body cream or the body lotion. You guys like i said earlier in the previous video you need to be extremely careful when washing your baby's head you need to be extremely careful because they literally swallow water 
my auntie here that was helping me bat this baby she was avoiding washing her face because she had an experience with her daughter that um when she was batting her daughter she mistakenly swallowed the water they were using and the baby had discomfort literally throughout the day until she was able to sneeze so if you pay close attention to the way she was batting her she was literally avoiding her nose avoiding her eyes and you know all the sensitive part of the baby's body so you need to be extremely careful when batting your baby's face I said it's Yapun is avoiding washing her nose. Her nose, her ah, nose. Yeah, Yapun is avoiding her nose, 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 her Yes. Mama. Mama. Yo. Ah ah. It's moving along. I'm moving too fast. so instead of just rubbing a cream on her body the cream is massaged into her body like into her skin it's another form of like massaging your baby instead of just massaging them with oil you can also do that using the body lotion Also during this process, she's going to massage her bum into place, give her leg good massage, her feet, give her feet a nice shape, all of those good stuff. So because of the smell, the terrible, terrible smell that Ogre oil has, I like to like clean her tongue, her mouth when she's done um, using the, when she's literally done taking a bath. So yeah, I like to um, give her the oil first, then she takes a bath, then we clean her tongue. But we totally forgot right here. So we're cleaning her tongue after creaming her body. But at least we're cleaning it. Hey. Oh, it's beating my baby. Oh. So after cleaning her tongue, we used mentor on her abdomen just to keep it like minty and warm on her feet as well. And then we're just literally going to use the handkerchief and hot stone on her abdomen the way you black people do. So this is not an aquarium style. We just um, added this to her batting um, routine. So yeah, after wearing a diaper, we use the hot handkerchief on a hot stone and put it on a tummy because I do not have a lantern. So the effect of this is it literally just use the tummy and warms, it literally just use the abdomen and warms it at the same time. And what is inside the handkerchief is the oblique cord, umbilical cord that fell off her abdomen. That's what is in, inside the handkerchief. And I think a little bit of stone, I don't know what my mom uses in it, but I know the umbilical cord is there. 
there's a um, mentor or something there and they just like put it on warm or hot substance and put it on the abdomen so while doing this you also have to put it on like a sensitive part of your skin before putting it on the baby because obviously your skin is so fragile so a sensitive part of your skin will let you know if it is too hot for you to put on that or not So that's basically all you need to do to prep your baby while they want to take their baths and then you just go ahead comb my hair wear your clothes and you're good to go your baby is good to go so thank you for watching this video i hope you do enjoy watching it and i'll see you in my next video or vlog